In this project, we'll create a multi-agent team using a supervisor agent, which will delegate the work between different worker agents. And more specifically, we'll build a software development team that contains three worker agents, a software developer, a code reviewer, and a document writer. These agents are a lot of fun to build. Let's start by giving our flow a name, like software development team. Then let's start by adding our supervisor node, so under multi-agents, let's add the supervisor node. Let's go ahead and assign a chat model to this agent. So under chat models, I'm going to add the chat OpenAI node. And for multi-agent flows, I highly recommend using an intelligent model like GPT-4.0. So I'll select my credentials. Then let's select GPT-4.0. Let's change the temperature to something like 0.5. Now that we have our supervisor node, we need to start adding worker nodes. So under add nodes, let's go back to multi-agent and let's add a worker node. So I like to add these worker nodes just below the supervisor node. And what we need to do is attach our supervisor to the input on our worker node. Now let's have a look at this worker. First, I'll give my worker a name. This will be our software developer. So let's enter something like software developer and for the worker prompt we can specify the role and tasks of this worker so let's enter something like role and i'll say you are an experienced developer with experience in react typescript node.js chat cn tailwind and other web technologies then for the tasks we can enter something like write clean and well commented code make changes to the code based on the feedback from the code reviewer as we will add the code reviewer as a team member in a second this should be good enough let's save this and before we add the second worker i do want to mention that you can assign tools to the worker agent as we did with the research agent earlier in this tutorial and we can also assign a chat model to this node and if we don't assign a chat model this node will simply inherit the same model that we assigned to the supervisor node but sometimes it might make sense to assign a different model based on the worker's function certain workers might not need an expensive model to be assigned to it and for a software developer worker it might make sense to assign a different model which is better at writing code let's actually save this flow and let's test it and let's expand this and let's say build a to-do list app first we can see the message from the supervisor and the supervisor is now calling the software developer and if we scroll up we can see the response from the software developer showing how to set up this project how to install all the dependencies and here we have all the code for the project so if we wanted to we could simply copy this code and paste it into a code editor if we keep scrolling down we can see the final response from the supervisor saying that no further action is needed and therefore the task is completed. Great, now let's create another worker agent. I'll simply copy this worker. Let's attach our supervisor node to this worker. Let's rename this to code reviewer in the worker prompt. Let's actually replace the role and the tasks. The role will be you are responsible for reviewing the code as written by the software developer and in tasks we can say ensure that the code is of a high standard and well commented recommend changes and improvements to the code or pass the process on to the document writer if the code is of acceptable quality let's save this and let's also create our document writer so let's attach a supervisor to this worker node let's change the name to document writer and for the prompt We'll replace this role and we'll replace the tasks. For the role, we'll say, you are responsible for writing the user manual for the code solution as written by the software developer. And for the tasks, let's simply say, write the manual in Markdown and include things like the setup instructions, document the features and troubleshooting tips. Let's save this and let's test our team. Let's save this flow. Then I'm going to clear the chat and let's ask it again build a to-do list app now we can see the supervisor is running and the supervisor correctly identified that the software developer should be called first now that the software developer is done the code reviewer is being triggered and it seems like the code reviewer was indeed happy with the results and therefore the document writer is being triggered and finally we get the user manual for our to-do list app and as a bonus tip, there's actually a super easy way to get FlowWise to generate all of these worker prompts for you. Simply go back 
to the dashboard, go to Marketplace, then under Type, search for Agent Flow, then click on Prompt Engineering Team. And now we can click on Use Template. We can give this a name like Prompt Template Team, save this. If you do get this little warning messages, simply click on this button to update all the nodes to the latest version. Now let's select our credentials. If you don't want to use Chat OpenAI, you can definitely swap it out for your provider. And if we have a look at this flow, it uses a supervisor node to delegate the tasks between two worker nodes. And these two workers are responsible for generating all the system prompts for our own workflows. Let me show you how this works. Let's say I want to build a software development team with three workers. Software developer, then code reviewer, and lastly, document writer. Now we can press enter, and this team will generate all the system prompts for us. So let's have a look at this result. When we scroll up, we can see agent one with the name software developer, and here is the full system prompt. Now we can simply copy this prompt and paste it into our multi-agent solution. The same goes for agent two, and we also have the system prompt for agent three. This could save you a lot of time in coming up with creative system prompts.